AOC may be the biggest gold digger in all of America. They're digging gold. Let me go take all the money from the people that built an incredible city like New York and see if I can destroy them and demonize them. So every time you give this argument about it is harder to manage a liberal city, no, no, no. Don't feel sorry for these guys. Let's not get sympathetic for Nancy Pelosi on how hard her job is. San Francisco was once an incredible city. Those bridges were not built by socialists, okay? That city, that incredible all over the place you go to when you look at it, it's like, I, I cannot even believe a city like this exists, how beautiful it is, right? A capitalist, a conservative, built that city. And then eventually, a socialist, someone on the left, came and destroys the city. That's how cycles work. Companies are founded and built by capitalists. They're destroyed by socialist leaders within a company that want to please everybody. A company that's built at the beginning stages of it, they're built knowing they're going to offend some people. Then it's destroyed by a new leader that comes in that's afraid of offending the people that are not growing the company rather than being worried about the people that are growing the company. I did a video uh, uh, yesterday with Kai and uh, Brandon and Kelly and Mike, and we're sitting Hi. here. We're kind of going through it. And you know what this whole thing was about? Here's what the video was about. Um, and right after this, I want to go into this article because I don't want to do this without this, and I got Max 7 call. I want you to think about Adam in your life, Vinny, yes. Tom. Who gets the best out of you? Think about the people in your life that got the best out of you. Who got the best out of you? Think about names. I can give names. Who got the best out of you in your life? Who got the best out of you? Can you think of names? Give us some names. Yeah, like my, my mother. Okay, put my, my, who who, my high school football high coach. High school football coach. Give us his first name. Uh, Mike. <laughs> okay, who else got the best out of you? Tom, who got the best out of you? Gary and Juan Hill. My okay. parents. Who else got the best out of you? Powerful. Who else got the best my out of you? brother. Who else gets the best out of you? Rob, who gets the best out of you? In your life, who got the best out of you? My father. Okay. Who else gets the best out of you? In your life, friends, teachers, coaches, colleagues, who got the co-worker, best out of you? Yeah, co-workers, co-workers friends. Who gets the best out of you? Driven bosses. Driven bosses. Who else gets the best out of you? Think about the names. You're going to place right now on who got the best out of you, mm-hmm. okay? Now, here's the thing. You ready for the flip side? This guy, uh, Trevor uh, Mawad, who was the coach, mental coach, for Russell Wilson. He met him in 2012, Trevor Mawad, okay? When he met him, he says, you're going to be great. Your mic's on, Rob. You're going to be great because I'm going to make you mentally great. For 12 years, this guy and him, uh, uh, not 12 years, till he died, they talked every single day. Russell Wilson said there was not a day that went by without me talking to this guy, and he wins a Super Bowl. This guy's mental coached 12 different first-round draft picks, number one picks, I think. I think it's 12 or 14. It's a big number. If he can find his five key principles, he follows. Five key principles, he follows. Five key principles, he follows. And he's going through all this stuff that he's developing. Russell Wilson wins. Russell Wilson just had his worst career. Worst season of his career last year, right? He's been on a downslope. You know when this guy died? 2021. What? Yeah. There's five things he talks about. Number, number one, he talks about uh, uh, go neutral no matter what happens in your life. Try to stay neutral. Stop giving credence to feelings. That's exactly what they are. They come and go. Use what you have. Don't be like, I'm not as tall as that guy. I'm not going to use what you got. Don't compare yourself. Number four, focus on reducing negativity, not increasing positivity. And number five, watch your language on how you talk to each other as a teammate. Okay, stay on number four. So remember how I asked you the question about who gets the best out of you? Now watch this. Let me flip it on you. Let me flip it on you. Who do you know in your life that gets the worst out of you? People that somehow, some way, got the worst out of you. You had an idea. It was a great idea. They always shut down the idea. Hmm. You're like, I don't want to share ideas with this guy, okay? Who got the worst out of you? Who always compared you? Who always said, why can't you be like Mary's husband? Why can't you be like such and such as boyfriend? Why can't you be like such and such as son? Who gets the worst out of you? Same type of people. No, right? not necessarily. It's different people. So here's, here's how life is. Sometimes we think it's better to get more of the people that get the best out of us. But what Trevor talks about, the battle is to eliminate the people that get the worst out of you. It is more effective to eliminate the people that get worst out of you than to increase the number of people that get the best out of you, yet still keep those people that get the worst out of you in your life. Hmm. What's the moral of the story here? 
hey, those people that get the best out of the people in that city built these incredible cities. Those people that get the worst out of people destroyed these same cities. So these same cities that started off as capitalist conservatives found what is conservative, by the way, conservative means what? It just means fiscally responsible, get to work, be responsible, do your part, carry your own way, take care of your family. Why are your kids doing this, Adam? Take care of your kids. Mm-hmm. Vinny, pay your bills, man. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that, Patrick? Do your thing. Conservatives, do your oh, part. You're right? Accountable. right? Yeah. It's yeah. accountability. Mm-hmm. That's how great companies and great cities are, born, uh, are built. And destroyed by the rest. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.